couple of questions that come up quite often. How to wire up uh, Vespatcher controllers. This is an 801. One of the first questions is often, does the cable length matter? Well, that one there is going across the floor, at the top of my table, <laughs> down through the original hole in the floor of the van that it originally came through. And my heater is actually under the floor in a box. So there's the best side of probably 25 foot of cable. So no, the length of the cable doesn't matter at all because the whole thing is using so little current, there's no bolt drop down it. An 801 controller comes with six wires. The standard Urbis Batcher harness has seven in it. The only one that's not used is that brown wire there. That is the standard earth, shafty earth. The controller actually uses its own reference earth, which is um, the one marked brown and white. So from left to right, we have the blue and white wire. That is the diagnostic wire. Then we have a gray wire. That is the secondary temperature sensor that's on the front of the controller. There's actually two temperature sensors in an 801, that little thing there. Then we have the yellow wire. That is the on off power to the heater from the controller. That is actually what turns the heater on. Then we have a gray and red one. That is the primary temperature sensor. And that is the one that the controller actually uses to turn the heater on and off um, based on the required temperature. The other one, the gray one, um, bypasses the temperature sensor on the side of the heater that measures the temperature of the cooling air. And by having two sensors inside the controller, you get a much better um, process of modulating the blower fan. Then this one here is a brown and white wire. This is the reference earth that's used by the controller and the heater. It's an internal earth. It's just a clean earth supply, basically. And the last wire is 12 volts. That's the power from the heater that actually powers the control up and hence, you know, the display works, etc. etc. And the, you can see the colours are like for like. If you've got a genuine harness from your heater, the colours are identical like for like. And as I said, that one is just chassis earth, isn't required, so it's just tucked out of the way. So there you go. These things are dead easy to wire in. And as I said, the length of the cable doesn't matter. My heater is, as I say, under the floor here somewhere about there-ish. The cable can be as long as you like. You can even be clever and wire multiple controllers in. As long as you can switch the wires, four of them, obviously the, the earth and the power remains the same, but if those, all four of those there went through a switch, you could have an 801 and switch over to a 701, which has got the timer, the 20, seven day timer circuit in it, if you want to. You can't have them running in parallel, you can't have them all connected to each other, but you can do it via a switch so you can isolate one controller and then switch over to another one. You know, you can do lots of things with these things.